Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maggie Woldenberg from Hand to Mind, and this is our fifth grade math video series. Today we are on week two, day two, and we're going to be learning about fractions as division. I can't wait to get started. Let's go. Today we're looking at fractions as division. So our first problem says that four campers need to share five liters of water equally. How many liters of water does each camper get? So to help us solve this, we are going to use our fraction circle. So if you don't have our fraction circles at home, no problem. You can join me on the Braining Camp website, which now has a free trial for you to test out. So my first question to you is, how many liters of water were there for our campers to share? You can shout out to me or maybe tell the person sitting next to you. Hopefully you're saying there are five. So we're gonna represent that with five whole circles. Two, three, four, five. So these five are representing the five liters of water that our campers are going to share. Now, how many campers are there? Hopefully you're paying attention as we went through the word problem, but there are four campers. So we have our five liters of water that need to be split, and anytime we hear the word split, we're thinking division between four campers. So now we have our division problem. Five divided by four. Now, how can we divide these five circles evenly by four? If each camper gets one whole circle, so each camper would get a whole circle because there are enough for each camper to get one whole, then what are we going to do with this last leader circle? Well, hopefully you're thinking that we are gonna take this one last leader and we're going to split it up evenly. So how could we split this up evenly between four campers? Hopefully you're thinking that we could take and split it into fourths. That's awesome. So we know our division problem is five divided by four. So we took our five, our five liters, the original red circles, and we determined that each camper is going to get one full circle. We're also now seeing that in this last liter, that each camper is going to get how much of that last liter? They, each camper is gonna get one piece. Well, how much is one piece representing? Hopefully you're telling the person sitting next to you that that one piece is representing one fourth. So each camper is going to get one and one fourth liters of water. Some of you might also have noticed that we could have written this as five fourths, meaning that each camper, the circle that they are getting is being represented by our four fourths or one whole. So we can see That this, oops, that this circle, our whole circle, is represented by one-fourth. So they get one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths, and then they get this one to make five-fourths. So each camper gets one and one-fourth liters, which is the same thing as saying they get five-fourths liters. So now we're going to use our fraction circles to model the division problem. We're going to write the problem as a fraction and write the quotient, which is our answer to our division problem, as a mixed number. So our first problem here is that we have 7 divided by 5. 7 divided by 5, we can rewrite this as a fraction as 7 over 
five. Another way to think of our fraction bar is just like a giant division sign. So really what this is saying is seven divided by five. So how do we show that with our fraction circles? Well, here is one full fraction circle and here's another. So this is seven fifths. So seven fifths is gonna mean one full circle and then if I can split this up evenly or sketch it to be about evenly we see that this is our circle cut up into fifths. If this is one full circle, that's gonna be represented by five fifths because that is one full circle. And then we need two more fifths. This is six fifths and seven fifths. So we have one full circle and two out of a total of five. So seven divided by five is the same thing as saying seven fifths, which we modeled with our fraction circles as one full circle and two fifths of the second circle. Let's try it again. So here we have 11 eighths. So with 11 eighths, again, we're going to write this as a fraction first. 11 divided by eight is the same thing as saying 11 divided by eight as a fraction. So we are going to take our first fraction circle and we're gonna divide it up into eights as best we can. If you're sketching this along with me or maybe you're modeling this on the Braining Camp website, either way that works. Now, how many eighths do we need to get closer to 11 eighths? Hopefully you said we need all of them. We need this whole circle. So, so far we have eight eighths. Now we're going to draw our second fraction circle. Again, I'm going to divide this one up into eighths again. And how many more, how many pieces of our second circle of eighths do we need? Hopefully you're saying if this is eight eighths, we need nine, 10, and 11. So that means we have one full circle and what fraction of our second circle? Go ahead and shout it out. Hopefully you're saying we have three eighths of our second circle. So 11 divided by eight is the same thing as 11 eighths, which is the same thing as one and three eighths. So now we have the problem nine fourths. Nine fourths, again, you can use your fraction circles. If you're using the Braining Camp website, maybe you have ours at home, either way, or you could just draw them out if that works for you. We have nine fourths, so we know nine fourths or nine divided by four can be written as nine fourths. We also know that if we were to sketch our fraction circles, here is into fourths, because that is what we're dividing by. So we have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. How many more do we need to get to nine fourths? Well, we definitely need four more. So there's five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. Looks like we need one more fraction circle divided into fourths. And it looks like we only need one more. So how many full circles do we have? Good, we have two. How many pieces of this last fraction circle did we need? Good, one out of a total of how many were how many pieces in this full circle? Four, very good. So nine divided by four becomes nine fourths, which is two and one fourth. We're gonna try one last one together. It says to write the quotient as a mixed number. So we have 11, I'm sorry, 14 divided by six. So we are going to again start with writing 14 divided by 6. This is a division problem. It also looks like it's an improper fraction. So we are going to divide, and again, you can 
Use your fraction circles to help you understand. But we know if we were to draw out 14 sixths, so circles divided into six, and we need 14 pieces, we would have two full circles and two out of six in that third circle. But does anyone know what we might need to do next? Hopefully you're thinking that we need to simplify. So we need to simplify this and it's going to become two and one third. Very good. So 14 divided by six becomes 14 over six or 14 sixths, which is two and two sixths, which simplifies down to two and one third. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more resources, please check out our website. Have a great day.